So welcome to another class of digital communication. Uh, today's class we will learn the topic uh, conversion of a continuous AWN channel into signal space. But before going into the class, uh, I am giving you some time to mark your attendance. So in the live chat, you can mark your attendance. Uh, please write your name and class number. Live chat le, uh, class number uh, type here so I'm waiting for your responses I hope you are typing the pay room roll number and type in the issues can okay Thank you. Okay, uh, pattern type here. Yeah. Let us go into the class. So this is a continuation of what we were learning. Uh, in the last class, uh, we saw about uh, the synthesis and uh, analysis equations. So, namka with signal ne namka. Uh, decompose either we can write it as a sum of basis functions uh, that is what we saw so we found that for each of the basis function that's a coefficient that is what is given by si1 si2 etc sin where phi1 of t phi2 of t phi n of t and is the basis function for namaka uru set of signals on the namakadine engineeru signal space in namaka mark in the figure we have shown only on the right side figure the graph in the graph are the basis functions phi1 of t phi2 of t are the basis function on the angle and the number represent the our general case will be an n dimensional space so we write or we find the coefficients corresponding to each of the n dimensional space but number this figure what we call is is called, is called as n there are n product integrators or correlators so product integrators in the bar in the block diagram we have the pro we have a multiplying unit or a unit which take the product and then we have an integrator so that is called product integrator there are n branches go down the n product integrators so this uh, n product integrator to the input of this inter end product integrator we are giving the signal si of t and you know what is si of t si of t is the input that we give it is the output of the transmitter block and we know that in the channel this with this signal noise get also added so i am writing a component called wt which is the noise that is getting added with the signal it is uh, we know the noise will be awgn additive why it goes in noise which get added and uh, this is our symbol signal x of t so this is what we receive at the receiver x of t now we have uh, drawn this figure so what it means is we can represent the signal s1 of t completely using the basis function phi1 of t and phi2 of t and uh, in general case it will be an n dimensional space so we can represent our signal completely in the n dimension space that is about our signal now when it get added with the noise we understand that a component wt is also added with the signal now we have to check whether our x of t can be completely represented in the n dimension space. So x of t is not equal to or x1 of t is not equal to s1 of t. Now x1 of t also I should be able to represent in the same basis function. Then only I can say it is completely representable in that n dimension space. But we find that uh, it get added with a random variable. So we are going to assume another random variable 
uh, for the noise. So this is what we are going to see in this class. So we have our, um, can write the equation as x of t is equal to s of t plus w of t where w of t, you know what is s of t, where w of t is a sample of noise waveform that get added with the signal and we know that this noise is of type a w g n additive white gaussian noise whose mean is zero and uh, two properties and uh, power spectral density is n zero by two now this is what is going into the n product integrator or n so where i have written x of t is equal to si of t plus w of t and i write i am finding the coefficient xj this is integral from 0 to t x of t into yj of t dt i am substituting that so integral from 0 to t xi of t plus w of t into yj of t dt and we know si of t into phi j of t will give you s i j plus here we have w j now where the first component s i j is from the signal And we know SI of t. So we already know that SIJ in the parayana, it is integral 0 to t, x1 of t plus uh, sorry, to phi j of t dt. And what is the second component? And the second component is from the noise wj which is integral from 0 to t w of t into phi j of t dt so we know that so we can uh, we can say that s of t is completely represented in the n dimensional space now we have to check in so this is in the absence of noise so in the absence of noise now in the presence of noise we have to check whether x of t is completely represented in the n dimension space this is what we are going to do Now to do that, so I told you, we have to check whether this x of t is completely represented in the n-dimensional sample space. So for that, what we do is, now we take a new random variable x dash of t 
and x of x dash of t um, uh, assess one of the samples of the x of whose sample function. is x x dash of t and x dash of t is actually equal to our x of t minus whatever we can represent this is the basis function so it is this is our signal received signal and this is the signal that is representable using the basis function. Apa adinda thammil olla difference aana x dash of t which is a sample function of the nu random variable. Now we know what is x of t and we know what is x j. Okay, so we are going to substitute. We have written both of them in the previous equation. So we write x dash of t equal to x of t minus summation j equal 1 to n x j by j of t. And we know x of t is x i of t plus w of t and minus summation j equal 1 to n xj we know that it is sij plus wj this is xij plus wj into phi j of t and we will open the bracket so we will have this is equal to We will uh, open the bracket. So it is equal to SIE of T minus summation J equal 1 to N XIJ into phi J of T plus we have w of t minus summation j equal 1 to n wj into phi j of t. And what is first signal, first term? Now what is uh, this term? We already know what is SI of t? SI of t is actually summation j equal 1 to n SIJ into phi j of t. So that term is 0. So we find x dash of t is equal to w of t minus summation j equal 1 to n wj into phi j of t. So we find this new random variable or the sample of this new random variable will depend only on the noise term. See, it has only w of t and summation j equal 1 to n wj phi j of t. So, wj phi j of t is a projection. Um, uh, uh, wj is the projection coefficient, phi j is the basis function. So, we find that value and it will depend upon this difference. So, this random variable will depend only on the noise. So, what we can write is, we can write x of t is equal to summation xj into phi j of t, j equal 1 to n plus x dash of t. And remember, x, da x dash of t is that component so this is completely uh, 
a plus center in n dimensional space but what about x dash of t it is not completely representable it cannot be represented not represented in n dimensional space so so we are actually adding a term x dash of t in order to bring it to an equality so it is an additional term which we added so that we, uh, to this equation so that it represents the uh, noise component which is which cannot be represented in the n dimension space so in the previous uh, case no i can write wt minus summation j equal 1 to n wj into phi j of t it is equal to w dash of t because it doesn't depend upon the signal it depends only on the noise so i write it as w dash of t so i can write here instead of x of t i can write w dash t so uh, what i write is x of t is equal to summation i'm writing it just one more time So W dash of T is a component which we add to preserve equality because and W of dash of T cannot be represented in the n dimension space. It's an extra component which comes only due to the noise that is getting added. So signal is represent is can be represented in the n dimension space. But this noise, no, we cannot represent in the n dimension space. So this is an additional component and it comes as a, uh, a term, additional term which we add to preserve equality. And uh, we find uh, there is in fact, in the conclusion at the uh, we, we have uh, this term, which is the term, uh, uh, which is, uh, which uh, which is a term irrelevant to the decision making process. Okay, you have a term on dialum, decision correct to vernum. So this is going to be a term irrelevant to the decision making. At the receiver we have to uh, we have to make the decision. Whatever is whatever is the signal get, get, getting transmitted. I'm transmit a signal in the other receive in the signal in the decision and then the message in the drive. But he derive here maybe E W of T is irrelevant. And there is a theorem called theorem of irrelevance. So uh, we will come to that. Uh, so this is our conclusion. We can represent the signal by the n dimension space, but this compound W dash of T, which is not representable, not represented in the n dimension space, and uh, that is an additional term which we add to preserve equality.